how far can you carry completion? For example, I, I, feel, I felt cold just now because I was prepared to be cold. Mm. So I, I completed with my fear and I feel less cold. Mm. But to what extent can I complete that I don't even need to wear warm clothing? Mm. How far can I carry the concept of completion? You can actually carry the completion to any level. And let, after some time you may understand, completion does not need to be directed in this direction. One sweater is much more cheaper. We don't need. Just for practical use, if you complete, that's enough. What I'm saying is, hmm. I want to be able to not feel cold. At all, feel... without sweater. Yes. You can do that through completion. How do I do that? How do I complete with... Again and again, whenever that cold feeling comes, just see exactly where you feel the cold. That part of the skin. Okay. Complete with that skin. Every pore, you will see that cold disappears. Oh, okay. Thank you. That's all, no questions? No more questions? Mm. This after completion, mm. you are telling me this, uh, just now I asked you about uh, body mm. awareness increases. Mm. So just can you tell me the Kundalini Shakti also? The See, Kundalini Shakti also awakens when you complete. Kundalini Shakti is locked because of incompletion. Whenever the completion happens, Kundalini also gets awakened. Naturally, you become complete. Can you give any value, Swamiji, for Kundalini Shakti, some any mm. energy? Any? Kundalini is the equivalent word. In English, we say mitochondria cell energy. In biology, that is a closer word. Mitochondria cell energy can be a closer word. Do we have a drummer right? No, 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 no. It is not necessary, but usually it happens. Mm. It happens, good. You enjoy. That's all. You jump a little. <laughs> Sometimes people wildly jump. If, if the person jumps, hmm. it's a sign that the Kundalini has awakened, right? No, no, no. What I am saying, man, listen. <coughs> See. Sometime with less Kundalini also body can jump. Sometime with more Kundalini also body may not jump. For example, there are some bodies, even if I pour 10 unit energy, the body may not jump, but the 10 unit Kundalini will be awakened. There are some bodies, just if I pour half unit energy, the body will jump, roll, bum, 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 half unit Kundalini only will be awakened. <laughs> so what's the difference between the two bodies? I mean, there is no difference. There is no comparison. First of all, if you can come, if there is a normal, if there is a basic scale to compare only, you can even make a difference. There is no basic scale to compare. So for the non-jumpers, how do they know that the Kundalini has, awake, has been awakened? Based on their experience and practical, uh, how the completion happens in them, how their life is transformed. Oh. Any physiological symptoms or signs that they can look for? Nothing no. is required. See the real life symptom. Why do you? Why are you expecting all the time some physiological symptom? Uh -huh. yeah, no, I'm just curious. Uh, but the physiological symptom is easy to be created. It is jumping only. I just push the person. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> and what else is required? Come on. Physiological symptoms are very easy to be created. And someone whose kundalini has been awakened, can she go back to sleep again? Can the kundalini, kundalini go down again? Rarely, like a. If you do the extreme acts like some uh, self-destructive acts, too much of drinking, that kind of a self-destructive acts, then it can be pushed to sleep. Thank you. Mm. It's not the ordinary little uh, drinking in some party, that and all also, the too much of the extreme drunkards, every day they drink full kind of addict, if they behave like that for around 20 days or one month, that kind, then it goes back to sleep. They talk about the... I'm sorry. Mm. Is, is 
there a, a process for pain? I, I, I'm in a lot of yes, pain. Yes, 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 yes. There is a process. We will be doing it. Okay. Some more process on pain. Is it a completion of some sort? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Mm. You know, tell about the significance of DNA strand in short, something. Mm. I say, mm. no, did you explain them? Eh? So DNA strands, mm. we all have 12 DNA strands. Mm. But by birth, one is awakened. When you physically become matured, one more is awakened. Two only is awakened for all human beings almost, all human beings, including Einstein. Hmm? Padanjali gives beautiful methods to awaken the Kundalini and awaken these DNA strands. Hatha Yoga gives some methods. In uh, Inner Awakening, Padanjali and Hatha Yoga, both methods I am adopting. So I was originally planning that at least four more I will awaken. Like you come with two, go with six. But in the research we found people go with eight, hundred percent. The process is so powerful, it is working more than I designed. The significance of this when we go back to... Uh, the significance of this is highly uh, developed health and uh, IQ, emotional quotient, a very balanced life. Many of the, uh, the diseases like a panic attack, sleeplessness, all that disappears. The top 10 mental disorder, 100% disappears. These are all the side effects of it. <laughs> and you became a more alive person. Swamiji, is a padapta and, uh, an incompletion from a past life? No, 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 no. It is not. Prarapta is the completion you are supposed to do in this life. Oh. Agamya is the incompletion you accumulate in this life. Sanjita is the incompletion from the past life. So if my Padapta is enlightenment, I'm supposed to complete and yes. I'm supposed, to, supposed to achieve uh, enlightenment in this birth. Prarapta is the completion you are supposed to do in this life. Oh. How do you know what that is? <coughs> How do you know what that is? Maybe you can ask Albairava. <laughs> when he comes, he will answer. <laughs> then? We will have our classic meeting, right? We will have our classic meeting, right? Sure. Uh, Swamiji, uh, during the root incident, why did I react in that way? Why not in a different way? That is, you only have to ask yourself. Like, no, but I each cannot person, answer for each that. Person, each person mm. reacts in one way. In a different way. What determines? That, I think, individual choice, individual decision. In my root incident, I did not even react in that way. The way you reacted like that. So it's a, each. There is no reason for it. It's it's your decision. That's the way you wanted to react. It's an alignment with my prarabdha or no 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 no. no. Oh. Root pattern actually only after you complete your prarabdha will even be awakened to you. Okay. Till the root pattern is completed, your prarabdha is only confusion. Hmm. Hmm. So is that a free will that I use to free react? Will. Simply free. Not the prarabdha. Mm. Okay. Thank you. How will completing that a prarabdha is completed? Oh. Completed a prarabdha. No. You, 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 if you complete your prarabdha, you will become enlightened. So don't worry. You have not done that. Yes. Yes. So how to know what is prarabdha? You can ask Kalvarva. Okay. Then. To complete, you have to take more and more birth and come again and complete? No, no, no. You can complete now in this birth. So nice. Other way, if you have to come again and again to so many births, then why I came here to teach you? So nice. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. I took birth so that you will not take birth. Oh, so nice. Thank you. Thank you. If you have to take more birth, then why should I take birth? Question time. So I work in healing tower. So I'm wondering, people, when we talk to people, so we are, we have to make them use their free will to come to our program, or how does it work? Because we see that different should, people are on different levels. No, you should enrich. Actually, 
Uh, my question is, Swami, uh, that's a very, uh, maybe it may be a blunt question, mm -hmm. but I keep having that question. So, when I talk to some hundred people, uh, only two or three, they really listen, but 98 reject. Means reject means you, they don't react no, no, no. or... You have not listened to them, they are problem. Before even you listen to them, you started marketing. Mm -hmm. First of all, I have to believe that this hundred people, they will come, First right? you need to listen to them. Okay. Their problem. For example, Swami, I call and them, they say no, I am busy. Uh, no, that is what. Mm. Then you at least say, all right, you are busy, great. Can you uh, tell me the time that I, I can talk to you again? That's all. Okay. So that is listening to them. Surely they will give you time. That time you talk. Okay, that's all. Mm. See, many times when you don't listen to them, how can you expect they should listen to you? If you listen to them really, they listen to you really. So, uh, basically, uh, they have the free will to decide to come to the program. It's not that, huh? Okay. You don't even go to that. Okay. Okay. You are first learn to listen. Okay. When they say they are busy, mm -hmm. then tell them thank you. I'll call you back later on. Okay. Can you give me some time? Okay. When to call back? Okay. Call back at that time. If okay. they say again busy, yeah, it's okay. I'll call you later on. Okay. Do that. Okay. When they are ready to listen, okay. listen to them. Then you tell what you want to tell. When you are talking, when you start talking about program, if suddenly they start talking, don't interrupt, listen. Authentically provide listening. Mm. <laughs> then you will be able to inspire them. You will be able to make them listen to you. Uh, Swamiji, is this uh, possible to enrich, uh, for example, my father, no. who will uh, never pour anything into his nose at 3.50 in the morning. <coughs> is and, this? Uh, well, before yoga and this uh, cleaning the nose and everything, this and he would never do this at 3.50 in the morning. So <laughs> how can I enrich him? No. When you go back, he will see your life and listen to his problems and tell him, I found a solution. I have a breakthrough in my life. If you want, try. If people are assured about breakthrough, what pouring water in the mouth, they will pour water everywhere. What 3.50 in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning. Mm. It is, they should be, they should see the result in you, that's all. Um, Swamiji, I would like to spend uh, all in our writings and every program with, with you and uh, so I would like to have some quick money and why is this not happening? Am I stopping this? No, create a space, responsibly you will see that money, ha money happens. Okay, thank you. Visualize that without self-doubt, complete your self-doubt, self-denial, declare it has already become reality and decide you will take responsibility to make it into reality means you are ready to do any action to make that into reality. You will see, it becomes reality immediately without even you do, need, it, need to do any action. Uh, so, sorry, Swam uh, Swamiji, I want to ask, uh, to complete the roof pattern and can solve the uh, uh, unhealthy body. Hmm? Uh, it's, uh, maybe the body is not, uh, is not good uh, if a complete a uh, root pattern, uh, the body, the health will be improved or uh, is like that. Can you repeat? <coughs> After the root pattern is com uh, completed, mm -hmm. then the body will more healthy. Yes, it will become more healthy. It will heal itself. Swami, uh, if uh, if there is some uh, incident happen in very small 
age very when I'm very small, but I forget it. Then can I do completion on it because I already forget it? Now, if you already forgot, then no problem. But when you do completion, you will remember it. It will come out. Okay. Hmm. When we do completion in the mirror, uh, he told us this morning to see uh, the scene mm. uh, in a neutral way. Unclutched way. Unclutched way. Mm. Mm. Okay, uh, what is the difference she's asking? Unclutched is a better word than neutral, that's all. More defined. Unclutching means disconnected. Disconnected. Mm. <laughs> then? Tell us, Swamiji, how to visualize what we want to create in a small step. Maybe in the next, um, the, uh, when we, we are going to that subject, I will teach you. I'll tell you about it. Now, so now I wanted to attend just only this four days what we have done. I wanted to complete so that I can lead you guys to the next level. Again and again and again I wanted these ideas to be drilled into you. This four days what we discussed, then... Swamiji, hmm. like, um, you said create the space. I hmm. didn't need a word first. It was like imagination. Whatever I imagined, it happened. All positive things. See, imagination and creating a space are not two different. It is one. One. Mm. So whatever I have imagined, mm. it mm. happened. Mm. But then after a certain period, it's really collapsed. Everything. And I like, why this is happening to me? Mm. Seeing the positive thing that I'm mm. visualizing or mm. creating a mm. space, it is taking place. Mm. With me also, with mm. others also. Mm. So maybe now you need to know the science completely, how to create that space. Then it will happen. <coughs> then anything else? Yes, go ahead. When we, when we identified a root pattern, mm. it is necessary to identify the incident to be able to complete, to find yes. an incident related yes. to be able to complete. Yes. With the completion process, you said uh, while you're looking in the mirror, there should be no thought, just a stream of things that have happened. No, no, no. Thought can be there. We can look into the stream of things. So, do we have to fully complete all our incompletions before starting yes. with others? No, no, no. Nothing like that. When you start with others itself, a lot more will be complete. It is like a, a simultaneous process. 